our lives, we often have people who provide us with valuable lessons. And that person could be your parents, your teachers, or even a stranger. As for me, the person who provides me with valuable experiences is Finn. Good morning, fellow leaders of tomorrow, audiences, and the most honorable judges. A wise man, Steve Harvey, once said, failure is a great teacher. And I think when you make mistakes and you recover from them and you treat them as the most valuable experiences, then you are free to share. Throughout our journey of life, we have ups and downs. We fail and we succeed. We have challenges of failure that teaches us our mistakes so we can improve and success that teaches us nothing is impossible. I believe that we have all heard stories of people who weren't successful, but it's not because they failed. It may be that they gave up halfway or they couldn't walk out of their failure. But if you think of Albert Einstein or Fru Winfrey or even Thomas Edison, these people were successful. And if you think that they were successful all their way of the journey, then you're wrong. I stand here to tell you that they also had failures to overcome. But now you may be questioning, why is it that some people don't reach their goal, but some people who, that do at the same time? Well, you see, the difference between someone who doesn't and does is that the person who doesn't often fears failure. So they would give up right after they have failed. Whereas the person who does reach the goal never ever fears failure. They will treat failure as an experience and they will say to themselves each time, making mistakes and failing is okay. As long as you treat them as experiences so you can learn from it and improve. During fourth grade at my school, there would always be academic awards handed out to those students who had scored 80% or above. Many of my friends and classmates would always receive that award. But sadly, that was never me. No matter how hard I tried or how much time I spent into studying, I still only got 70% overall. But that was only until one day when I finally clicked and I said to myself, I want to become the next person standing on that stage to receive that award. And so for each night, I went back home and only focused on my work, studying and studying, reviewing for the test. When the test results came out, I was more nervous than usual because I had really wanted to see my test result. When the teacher handed me my test, I took it and I stood the emotion scene because I had only scored 79%. At that moment, I knew I had failed my crime. For a week, I was sad and really wanted to give up because I thought that I had already spent so much time, yet still. I did not succeed. On the last day of the term, it was the war ceremony. As each student walked up on stage with smiles on their faces, I sat below the stage and thought to myself, I'll never be able to receive that award. Maybe I'm just not the right person. Then suddenly I heard a voice. <clears throat> And now we have a special award, the Improvement Award handed out to Wendy Lee. Everyone was clapping and my friends were calling out my name. I looked up and to my surprise, I had won the Improvement Award. My teacher told me that she gave me this award because she saw me improving and even paid a lot of effort in my previous tests. She also encouraged me to never ever give up until I am successful and reach that goal. 
And only after that did I realize that if I had given up right after I had failed, then how would I be able to receive that reward? Overall, failure has really come with many things, such as if you don't go across storms of failure, then how will you be able to see the rainbow of success? All in all, failure is a great teacher to me, to you, to everyone, because it will always be by our side until that one day we see the rainbow of success. Never be a person of your past because it was just a lesson, not a life sentence. If there were so many people that were able to walk out of the failure, then that means so can you. Thank <laughs> you.